This video is for parents of students in year nine who are about to make their option choices. Over the past few years, things have been pretty much the same in terms of options, but we're in a position at the moment where lots of things have changed at Key Stage 4. There are significant changes in GCSEs. The content of most subjects is now more challenging and will be assessed through end of two year examinations rather than by coursework. The government expectations are that students will undertake a more challenging academic curriculum. So in short, if you've had a son or daughter who's been through the system before or know other students who've done GCSE, this is a new world. Things have changed significantly and therefore the information contained in this video and the Year 9 Options booklet is important to take account of. GCSE grades themselves are changing. Whereas in the past we've had grades A star to G, we're now going to a system where students will be given numbered grades at 9 to 1. In the past, students would have got A and A star at the top end. They will now get grades 7 to 9. A student getting a C and a B would get a grade 4 and above. And so therefore, everything is changing in the system. Our key stage 4 curriculum is structured in three parts. We have the core of the curriculum, which all students follow, an options section, and then wider studies which wrap around those two elements. In the core of the curriculum are seven or eight GCSE subjects. The number changes depending on whether a student does double or triple science. So those subjects are at the core of the curriculum and are followed by all students. In addition, students follow three GCSE options which they choose. And then they follow a group of wider studies that are timetabled for them. Those include PE, study skills, sex and relationships education and careers education and guidance. And alongside those, there are a wide number of other opportunities through assemblies, talks, careers fairs, trips and visits linked to subjects and so on. This video particularly looks at the option choices and so we're going to spend a little bit of time looking at those options in more detail. There is a wide range of choices for students and they must make three option choices and a reserve choice. As part of those options, they must choose either history or geography. They can choose both, but they must choose one. There are some prohibited combinations because of the overlap of subject content. So a student can't choose food and one of the other DT subjects. Those subjects are product design, graphics and textiles. Also, they can't choose ICT and computing. You may ask why the options are arranged in that way and why students have to take geography or history. The government is recommending that the vast majority of students undertake the English baccalaureate subjects and there's more information in the options booklet about this particular issue. We like to give some advice on making choices to students and we're going to start off with the negatives. We say to students don't choose a subject because a friend or an older sibling has taken that subject before. As we've said already, things are changing dramatically in terms of subject content as well as the assessment. And so making a choice on that basis isn't actually a sound choice. We also say to students, don't choose a subject because you think you know the content and don't discard one because you think you know the content. This really is a time of new beginnings. On the positive side, we do say to students, consider the information in the options booklet carefully. The options booklet has information on every subject linked to the exam boards so you can find out an awful lot of information very quickly. We also say to students to consider themselves, to be honest about their likes and their dislikes, their strengths and their weaknesses, to make good choices. We encourage them to ask lots of questions at the moment in subject lessons and also on the options evening. We ask students to make a reserve choice because some will have to follow it because of constraints on numbers in groups and therefore it's important that that choice is well considered too. 
making choices at this stage is highly unlikely to affect a student's future career. There is more information available and Year 9 students will be given their options booklets and a full introduction to options on Friday the 12th of January. The options evening itself follows on Wednesday the 24th of January and this will give you and your son or daughter the opportunity to discuss subjects in greater depth with subject specialists. Finally, the options form which accompanies the options booklet must be handed in to the form tutor by Friday the 2nd of February at the very latest. Thank you.